Hi, this is Tim Grotman, and this is my sock experiment. All right, so I've found a process that is working for me. So the first thing that I do is I select an edge loop, invert the polys, and I'm going to delete my old sock. Okay, so I'm starting with a, a foot, and I want to put a sock around the foot. And here's how I've been doing it. All right, so first I need a polygon strip that goes around where the stock where the sock starts. So I'm just going to select this loop again and make it bigger than it needs to be by a little bit. Okay, then I switch to edge mode. I select another loop. I'll extrude the edge down around the foot and uh, fill in the polygons. So here we go. Z for extrude. And I can move it pretty much down to the midpoint because I'm going to auto-generate the, the polys in between. So I'll just use the rotate tool. And right around the uh, right around the heel, I want the flow of polygons to go from vertical and switch to horizontal. All right, so there's the piece in between. Drop the tool, hit Z to extend this edge. Just bring this side all the way forward. Okay, and then just take a look at, make sure the sock is centered around the foot. And I might want to rotate it so by the time the polys are at the foot, I kind of want them parallel or perpendicular to the way the foot's pointing. Okay, and then I might extrude that one more time, or uh, there's been a few times where I just want to ignore the polygons at the very end of the sock, because I'm going to, I want to extrude it and have kind of the sock dangling. Otherwise, you'd, uh, I'd spend more time on, on the capping part. Okay, so there's the initial polygon flows. Now, I'm going to use the edge loop tool to fill in these loops. So I use the loop slice and like set the count to four. Okay, good. And then I'll fill in the polygons and I'll do the same thing with this edge loop over here. Loop slice. Okay. There we go. And now we have a decent number of a polygon, so I could probably even get more detailed and subdivide it a few more times. But okay, that's step one. My next step is I switch over to the topology tool. All right, and uh, there's this awesome smooth tool. Now I want to make the offset bigger than um, right on the foot because I want the sock to have some thickness. So. I'll set it to 250 millimeters, and I just click in the viewport, and it automatically fit that sock to the foot. Now, I probably could have made it more like 500 millimeters. There we go. Just to get a little smoother. Okay. So that's the first part. Drop the tool. Go to the edges, and you'll see like some parts are sticking out a little bit. So you can just select those loops and grow it just a little bit. Until it goes beyond the, the heel. But not so far that it doesn't make it look round and that kind of thing. Okay. And then again, for this this uh, piece in the front of the toe, I just kind of left a placeholder polygon there. I'm going to remove that. And I just want to extend this loop with Z, extend, and bring it forward. Shift click, extend it again. Shift click, extend it again. Shift click, 
extend it again. Shift click. Okay, and then drop the tool P for polygon. And now I've kind of capped it off and I can scale this poly down a little bit. Okay, I can smooth that out. If I hit the tab key, I'll switch into sub D mode. Okay, and I'm kind of seeing the pinky toe over here, so the sock could be wider in that area. So switch back to polygons and just scale it up a little bit. There we go. Same thing with for these other loops. Okay, edge tool, scale these up just a little bit so that the toe's not poking out. If I look at it from a bottom view, there we go. Just make sure the flow looks right. Okay, back to perspective view. I could bevel this a little bit, bring it in, pull it out a little bit. Now I beveled it, but it might look better. switch back to regular polygon mode. Might look better if I just subdivide it. No, I don't like that. Might look better if I, instead of putting polys there, just do some more loops. Extend it, scale it in, and put a polygon there. Okay, and in this case, I could probably actually use the paint tool. Use the push tool. Go to open geo mode. And I could probably smooth this edge out. So it's not as sharp. over here. Oops. A little too much, but just squish that sock. Steep. Okay, and that that's my sock. It's my process for making a sock. And um, when the sock is kind of extended past the, the foot here, if I can reverse these or show it in model view, switch to wireframe mode here. Okay, so you can see with the sock sticking out past the foot, I might remove some polygons at the top 
like maybe even select some of these edge loops. Advanced, here we go. So select a couple of these loops. Here we go. And actually delete them and just keep that part of the sock. And for this final edge, just extend it just a little bit and then bring it in. There we go. Maybe extend it one more time. And bring it in. Maybe down a little bit. There we go. And now we have a sock over the foot. And that's my process for making a long sock. And uh, the next the next parts are like, okay, the usual. So go to the UV tab, and I would remove the existing UVs. Just make a, a new map, okay? And only interested in the sock here. And use the texture. UV tools, create UVs, just make an atlas, click, there's my sock, and I can look at a few different styles of UVs. There's the atlas, very centric, no atlas 2, cubic, yeah, so atlas, there we go. And... I might select a couple edge loops um, and loop slice it. Uh, just one, uh, one more time. Okay, and put this as a kind of a stripe. There we go. That way. The rest of the sock. Okay, so I'd have like the white sock. And then, and I need a sock example. But I think the, the heel sometimes has. Ha! <laughs> There's a foot stick out of my sock here. If I grab this loop, scale it up just a little bit. There we go. And then sometimes socks have just this heel. Of course, the, it's the sock pulled down, so the heel would actually be more over here. There we go. That'd be like the heel. There we go. And uh, then when this gets into fuse or whatever I'm going to use, I can assign a substance for these stripes and pick like a pattern I like. And same thing for this heel. And maybe again on at the end of the sock. For these that here just uh, that's part of the I don't know toe something there we go and now those areas are marked so that they can, substances can be applied and customized and fuse and yes this is my sock process all right thanks for watching